Hey, what's going on out there, family? I'm so, so excited about today. Today is a blessed day, and I know and I hope that you're having a blessed day out there as well. If not, I'm speaking that over you right now. I speak blessings over your life, and peace be unto you. So, y'all know I like to um, give out these encouraging messages because I know how hard it is even right now. And even just, um, there's a lot of things that are going on in the earth and the devil doesn't stop fighting. The devil never stops fighting us. And so we need consistency and we need the word of God to hit our lives like never before. Because it is the word of God that is sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of the spirit and soul, to the joint and marrow. He's a discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. And so I want to uh, bear this in your spirit is to let you know that the word of God is your weapon. The word of God is your greatest, greatest weapon. Now, a lot of people get this misunderstood is that and when you read the word, they, they say that you have to understand everything in the word. A lot of times it is not so. It is not so. Just read the word. Read the word. And the more you grow a hunger to read the word, the word of God will begin to expose and unfold revelation to you. I want to bring something to your attention. Um, if you if you ever realize Jesus spoke to the disciples and, and they were coming to him saying, Jesus, what is all this, this, these messages? He says, he says, the kingdom of God, the mysteries of the kingdom of God are meant for you and not for the outsider. The mysteries of the kingdom of God are meant, they are designed for the believer. Keep that in mind, beloved, because a lot of times we, 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 we get weary of reading the word or studying the word because we feel as though God is not going to reveal it. No, no, no. God is testing your level of diligence. Yes, God is testing your level of diligence. If you ever realize the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 that he's a rewarder, that, that him that comes to God, he must know that he is. That word he is actually means that must know that he exists. So first of all, when you go to sit down and spend time with God, your mindset should already be in expectation that he is God and that he has already promised that if you spend time with him, he will show up because the Bible says, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. And so that must be the first expectation when we be intentional about our time with God. Secondly, we must know that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So your diligence... And your reward is based off of your expectation of what you want God to do. So your reward will be, God, I need you to bring this thing to pass. God, I need you to perform a miracle in my life. God, I need you to fix my marriage. God, I need you to fix my child. And so because of your diligence and your persistence and your consistency in that thing, it produces an idea in the heart of God that you are believing him. That you trust him. And the Bible says, the Bible says, when we pray, we must believe that we receive it and we shall. He didn't say, he didn't say you might have it. He didn't say it's a possibility that it could fail or delay. He says, you, it, it, it shall come to pass. You must already know. You must already know that God is faithful to his people. You must already know that God will show up when we need him to. And so your diligence shows God that you have enough faith to keep pressing, to keep fighting. I want to share something with y'all. The Bible says that Daniel, he prayed about a thing. And the day that he prayed it, the angel came to him after 21 days of fasting. And Daniel prayed and fasted for 21 days about that particular thing. And the Bible says that the angel of God came to him and said, Daniel, the day that you prayed, he says, I come to tell you that the day that you prayed, the answer was released. He says, but the prince of Persia fought. We had to fight against the prince of Persia. And so now I come to you bringing you answer to your prayers. I want to re I want to submit to you right now that it's not because that God has not already answered your prayers. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep fighting in warfare prayer. You have to keep pressing your way through to get that answer to you. I want you to re realize that the Bible also says that there was a time where Peter was locked up in prison. And there was this young lady, young lady in, in, um, in Peter's life that was praying for them. They actually had a prayer meeting for Peter to be released from prison. 
And so the Bible says that the young lady named Rita was praying. God answered their prayer so fast that Peter showed up. He was escorted by angels out of the prison right to Rita's front door while she was yet praying for him. And the prayer was so, the answer to the prayer came so fast that, that she didn't even believe it was so, it, it left her in shock that God answered her prayer so fast. Beloved, I want to submit to you to be diligent in your prayers and in your seeking after the heart of God. I want to bring this to your attention, beloved. When I was in prison, I used to sit at uh, my desk while I was studying for hours. And I, I, a lot of you are going to remember these stories because, you know, to those who I talk to on a regular basis, I told you this a lot of times. But I, I was sitting at, I would be sitting at the desk, have my coffee, studying and prayer time. And I would come across maybe a scripture, maybe even a word that was put in that particular scripture. And I would sit there for hours until God gave me revelation. God is seeking after those who are willing to sit at his feet until he reveals his word. Are you willing to, are you hungry enough? The Bible says, blessed are those who thirst and hunger for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Are you hungry enough to sit at the feet of Jesus and wait there until he unfolds the mystery of the revelation to you? Are you hungry enough? Are you thirsty enough to chase after him? Until your miracle happens, are you are you are you desperate enough to be like Jacob and to hold on to him until that miracle comes through for your mother, until that miracle comes through for your father, until your child gets that breakthrough, until your child gets off of that deathbed, until your best friend comes out of that hospital or your best friend comes out of that financial debt or situation that they're in or your ministry gets the breakthrough that is. Are you desperate enough? To be diligent in the presence of God. To seek after him until it comes through. Do you believe him enough to know that he's a God of restoration? That he's a God of redemption. And he will not fail you. But he's testing you right now, beloved. To see how long are you willing to sit and wait for the instruction. Sit and wait and hear from him. Are you hungry enough? Everything that we do, beloved, I want to share this with you. Everything that we do, we should be consistent in our asking of God. God, what do you feel about this? And we should be patient enough to wait and hear his voice. The Bible says, they that wait on him shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and never faint. That's in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But I want to share something with you. And I'm, I'm done with this after this. But this was a, the amazing revelation behind that particular scripture. He says, they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is it that he's saying they that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength? The reason why is because Galatians chapter six says, be not weary in well doing. He says, but he says, if you do not faint, you will reap. He said, if you do not faint, you will reap. What does that mean? While I'm waiting on him, there's going to be times where I'm going to feel within myself, my emotions. I'm going to feel as though I want to give up. But within that, watch me, you got to hear me. Within that time frame of you wanting to give up, God is going to show up. You got to hear what I'm saying. God is about to show up for you. There are some people right now that have been waiting and you've been saying, God, I've been sitting here and I've been working on what you told me to work on. I've been steady in the process. I have not have I have not been faint hearted. But God, I'm getting weak. I'm getting tired of waiting. I'm about ready to move forward and do my own thing. God is saying, I understand, baby. Your strength is coming. This is your strength. Yeah, your strength is, is rising on you right now. I prophesy that you're about to be get strong out of nowhere. I prophesy accelerated strength upon you. I prophesy your mind is about to get strong. I prophesy that your spirit is about to rise up. I prophesy that when the enemy rises up against you one way, he will flee in seven different ways. And God is going to bless you in your waiting. God is going to bless you in the process. God is going to, oh, God, God is going to give you exponential progress while you 
you wait. I declare right now that greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. And with that enemy that's trying to fight you while you wait, you God is going to give you strength to wait a little while longer. Because if you wait a little while longer, the benefits of waiting is so much greater than, than going forward and taking matters into your own hands. Yeah, God is going to bless you while you wait and while you be diligent. Beloved, I don't know who this is for, but I declare upon you right now, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. God is about to do something so great in your life that you're going to look back two weeks from now, three weeks from now, a month from now, and you're going to say, God, I knew that was you. Because your, the way that your situation looks right now, and the way you have been denied for this and, and denied for that and rejected about this, rejected about that, God said, just give me time, baby. I'm going to renew your strength. And you will mount up with wings like eagles. And you will be able to run. God is saying, I'm going to give you the ability to run. You're going to exceed even the expectation of your haters. There's some people that are hating on you right now. And there's some people that are saying, oh, no, they, they're not going to be nothing. They're not even going to succeed. That business is going to fail. Their house is going to fail. That marriage is going to fail. Their children are go not going to be anything. They're going to fail. But I declare upon you and I submit to you right now that you are more. Yeah, you are more than what they say. You are more than a conqueror through Christ who strengthens you. You are more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are more. You are more. And God is about to bring you into the more. Keep waiting. And your benefits are upon you. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, beloved.